Hello everybody, Mr. 3D here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you an awesome add-on known as City Road Builder for Blender. And we will take a look at it how it works in this video. If you would like to get this add-on, the affiliate link is going to be in the description. From there, you can grab it. It won't cost you anything more, but it will help this channel out. Now before we start, make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. Now let's get straight into this tutorial. With Blender simply fired up, what you need to do is you need to go over to edit, preferences and install the add-on right now. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. So press N on your keyboard and go over to the city road builder right here. And then you will notice that we have some roads and some material options, add road curve as well. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is to select what kind of road you want so i wanna go with this one which is perfect and then click on setup road now it will add a basic road now you can see this because you are in viewport shading mode so go over to the render mode and add an hdri whichever you like so i'm gonna go with this ones and you can download the free hdris from polyheaven i will leave the link down in the description below all right as you can see that we have a beautiful looking road with wet surface on it we also have some settings here so you can see we have barrier bulk lights grass fence blocks trees overpass that's all so what i'm gonna need now is walk so we will have a walking area right here lights as well street lights and we need blocks so we need all these and if you want the barrier you can also add it it's very simple but i don't want them so i'm gonna delete them and then we have some material options so to start playing with we have here the brightness just like that you have to play around with it until you find what you want we have contrast we have specular and we have darkness of the road just like that and you can see how realistic it is and then we have puddle size so these puddles you are seeing right here are its size so you can increase the size you can decrease the size and stuff like that so I'm gonna go with default and we have bump strength you can increase the bump strength you can decrease it so i'm gonna go with the 0.34 which is kind of nice for me and you can increase the repeat just like that it will keep adding road and all that stuff let me just change the hdr location and as you can see it looks way way realistic now there is a little problem here or maybe it's kind of bug because we are not seeing the perfect material so to fix that go over to the shader editor right here select this pave and then you just simply have to mess with these materials so i'm gonna fast forward this part of this video Alright, so there you go. This is how this material should look like. So make sure to play around with the materials and you will find the best. And you can also play around with this road material as well. By the way, press control space on the viewport to maximize that area. Just like that. Let's move on to the next part of this video. So go over to the advanced settings of the road and you will notice that we have something missing. This is also a bug. They will fix it in a coming version of this add-on so yeah and then you also have the option right here under the advanced to add connection roads of four lanes so let me show you click on the add junction and it will add this area which is pretty cool you can also merge these with it just like that And then you have some settings right here to play around with as you like. 
and you can also curve the road just select it and click on add curve and it will add it to the curve now you will notice that there is a bug but they will fix it in the feature version you can also make your own curves to place the road on to the curves now here's a scene that i have created using this add-on which looks realistic as you can see there's a little bit of playing around with this add-on and you will find the best results out of it all right so that's it for this video let me know what you guys think about this add-on in the comment section below and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads and i will see you in the next video bye